On November 19th, Zone 1, which is the Moncton and southeastern New Brunswick area, transitioned to the orange alert level after the province's COVID-19 uh, under the COVID-19 recovery plan. One week later, these restrictions were put in place for Zone 3, which is Fredericton and the central New Brunswick area. In both areas, public health had seen a rapid spread of infections in hard to contain settings among vulnerable populations. We were also concerned by the low level of compliance with public health directives, as was provided to us by Department of Public Safety. Since then, there has been a marked improvement in the outlook for both zones. And on the basis of um, our assessment and balancing all the risks, uh, public health supports the decision for Zone 1, the Moncton region, and Zone 3, the Fredericton region, to transition back to the yellow alert level of recovery tonight at midnight. Um, again, this was based on uh, our risk assessments and balancing all those risks and the declining caseload in both regions and high levels of public adherence to restrictions uh, which have been limiting the spread of COVID-19. We will be monitoring closely, however, and if we start to see more cases, we can go back to the orange phase at any time in any zone that is now yellow. Zone 2, however, which is the St. John, Kings and Charlotte counties, will remain in the orange level of alert for the time being. We are seeing a vast improvement in the compliance in Zone 2, and I want to acknowledge everyone in all the zones for their hard work. You are doing an amazing job, and again, in Zone 2, I know everybody is doing their part. Thank you so much. Right now, though, in Zone 2, the number of active cases is still too high, and the risk of further transmission is too great to reduce the restriction in this area. Uh, and again, there, the ongoing um, outbreak in the Shanex also is influencing that. And, um, and while we were seeing new cases that are linked to other cases in that area, we have seen some cases where they weren't on our contact tracing list, meaning they weren't already at home self-isolating. So that's of concern as well. Public health will continue to monitor the progress in Zone 2 over the coming days. And once we see a decline in further risks, we will recommend the loosening of restrictions in this zone. While zones one and three move back to the yellow alert level, I want to be very, very clear. The danger of further COVID-19 infections has not gone away. We have not reduced the risk to zero, nor can we. 